there's more evidence that's going to come out here in this video. Yeah, I'm not a Gnostic teacher and I don't preach it from the Gnostic writings, like the Book of Thomas, the Book of Enoch, and many of the apocryphal books that the Catholics have in their Bible. They weren't included in the Protestant translation of the Bible. They excluded these books. And there's reasons. And you can spend hours just explaining why they were not allowed in the canon of Scripture. I'm not going to do that. That's up for you to go off and find out. But it gets beyond all that. The letter of any book. The letter was written in hope. As Peter said, we have a more sure word of prophecy that we should pay attention to until, until when? The day dawns, the day star rises in your heart. This day star is this mind that's in your human spirit I've spent many videos trying to explain that, as the Father's explained it to me, things I didn't know in the past, that there's two minds. You've got to wrestle with this mind of your spirit against the mind of your carnal mind. And that could be a secular mind or a self-willed religious mind, giving out doctrines of men or following doctrines of devils and demons. you got to know that. And I'm not going to share any more than what I have, it's plenty of videos there for you to get into if you want it, or you go with heaped up teachers and follow the doctrines of men. Or better yet, wait till your spirit clearly says it. And the righteousness that you are desiring, which isn't your own or anyone else's righteousness, other than that of the righteousness of Jesus Christ, the Son of God who came as the Son of Man, virgin born, never fell, remained virgin born, was the one who was this lamb that offered up his, his life, pure and holy life, to save his spirit, soul, and body complete. He did that once for all. One man got us into this mess and made us all unrighteous, and he who knew no sin of Adam became sin that we might become the righteousness of God. Period. That's the only thing that saved any of us. It's God restoring us to the hope in us. Christ in you, the hope of restored lost glory of a fallen Adam. And this guy's sitting there trying to say that I'm 90% wrong because I don't have these other apocryphal books or Gnostic teachings. So if anybody wants to accuse me of Gnostic teachings, this is proof. I don't follow Gnostic teachings. I don't follow universal teachings, nor do I follow the teachings of what they call inclusionists. If you want to know what all that is, I've got videos on that on my channel here. I'm none of that. I come up out of my particular denominations of the past. I dare to go on, according to Hebrews chapter 5, to go on to other things. And these other things is what Paul revealed as the mystery. This mind of Christ in you, you can wait to your spirit and hear from your Father. And he would tell you plainly what these others said in symbols, metaphors, images, and symbols. He gave it to you the plain fact. You're an offspring of God, the Father, Jew and Gentile. We're all the offspring of God, yet not all will receive this. So it's not universal teaching. There will be those who will receive and those who won't receive it. And as far as this matter of hell, the grave, and what's called Gehenna, the lake of fire, that comes out of my series, hell is not your home. Death and hell are destroyed. One was a ticket to get you out of this world. And you go one of two places to the holy house of hell, or you can go to heavenly places in Christ Jesus and go to a place prepared by your Father. One of two places. There is a place that's prepared for the devil and his angels. And if you follow them, which many people are doing, doctrines of devils and demons, doctrines of men, 
you end up there. With your autobiography, and you're trying to hope to get into the kingdom of God with your sense of righteousness. You didn't wait to use your spirit. You didn't gain the righteousness of Christ. That same mind that was in the Son of God as the Son of Man is in you. If you go with that mind, you get back to your Father. And there's no annihilation for the just and the so-called unjust. What's justification? I've said it over and over again. The just are those who have embraced the justification work of the Son of God, who saw the need would arise and the greatest injustice that ever would be served by all of humanity, Adam's race, translate Adam, humanity, would be under the wrath of God for what one couple did, and that would be considered an injustice. Why should I have to go to hell or end up eternally cut off from my father I wasn't there. Well, you have a choice. He who knew no sin became sin that you would never have to fall under that wrath of God. He took away the wrath of God. The Lamb of God took away the sin, S-I-N, nature of Adam, all from you. And if you reject that, you end up going in the way it came. Whole series of videos explaining the way it came, great depth of that. Welcome to the land of Nod, east of Eden, going in the way it came. Powerful series. It shows you about this matter of uh, there's no annihilation. No, no annihilation. If the first death is thrown to the lake of fire, how can you, you know, it's not annihilation. And the second death is not annihilation. It's your choice. I said before, life or death. And this idea of death. Mass exactly what happened to Adam and Eve, remember? If you eat of this tree, then I was good to with this day, thou shalt surely die. Well, they didn't die for 930 years later. So we're talking about physical death. Though they did physically die too. They cut themselves off from their life-giving spirit. And the mind of that spirit, they went with a fallen rogue soul. And as the fallen rogue soul goes, so goes the body. The fallen corner of mind, if you follow the flesh, race, culture, cohesion, gender, if you follow this flesh, independent from God, it clearly says in Romans chapter 8, you're on your way to dying. Who isn't dying? So we all have done that. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And thank God for the mercy and grace of God, for the beam of seed of Christ, one or two judgment, the beam of seed of Christ, or the white throne judgment of God. You don't want that. You want the human seed of Christ. It's just a matter of wood, hand, stubble, gold, silver, precious stone. When you hear the Father speak to you, you obey it. You don't need him to you understand you, but all you is you acknowledge him, he directs your path. When you do that, it's called gold, silver, precious stone. When you don't, it's your garment gets spotted with the flesh, as Jude says. Hating the garment spotted with the flesh. Thank God for the beam of the Christ. He cleanses you as to fire. You could accept that a fire to our life. That comes out of my shirt on the wean. The fires of this life is the wean from the thing that's been done to us. Many times unaware. The sin nature of Adam. How you could be doing good. And your good it becomes no good. Because it's done totally independent of God. Whatever's not of faith is sin, they say. So... Figure that one out. So, I mean, I, I'm repeating myself. And all I've brought up in these other videos, most people don't hear that. You would get a guy like this guy showed up here with his Gnostic teaching, trying to say that I'm 98, 93, or 98% wrong, and he's right, and, and we ought to follow all these extra uh, books of the Bible that were banned, rejected. That's your decision. Don't follow the Gnostic teaching. And don't follow just the letter of the word. Take that letter and let it lead you to this mystery of the mind of Christ in you. And you could ask your father and he would teach you. I've got enough videos on that. On the called the living word. Learn to hear God's voice. That's the true teaching. You listen to your father. So I went to the individual site. Now he's German. 
And his videos are all done in German. And people say, well, how would you know if what he said was a Gnostic teaching? Well, I don't know the main people, my wife is German. And all she has to do is look at that and she could tell me right off, that's a Gnostic teaching. <laughs> She's listened to me for 49 years. We've been married 49 years. And she knows the truth from error. And she just has to look at it. We have to listen to the videos, just the subtitles to these videos. Though in German, she knows German. She knows exactly where he's coming from. And he's a Gnostic teacher trying to add all these added books and get people thinking, well, like he tries to say in that comment, which I put up on screen, trying to say that Jesus said death was annihilation. And these other books reveal that fact. That's why they don't get included in the canon of scripture. Because death is not annihilation. Death, as I brought out in my series, death is not your home. In that series, death is just your ticket out of this world. They were forbidden to go to the tree of life. So they would they die. Because they cut themselves from this from this human spirit that is life. That God put in our spirit is eternal life. And in my series, the eternality of the human spirit has labored to show what the Father has revealed to me, that the human spirit, all of all of us, is eternal. It lives forever. Which way do you want to live? In a place prepared by your father? Or you want to go to Gehenna, an eternal place for the devil and his angels. And they left their original habitat and state, according to the book of Jude. And their disembodied spirits desiring a body. And he you show up with an eternal body. Cut off from your spirit. And the candle of the Lord has gone out. The knowledge of that spirit, you've denied it, cut it off, and you end up with your fallen carnal mind that's dying daily. Yet the inward man is being renewed day by day, being made fit for a new existence. Make the connection. You want that spirit. It can be wounded, but it can't die. He's trying to say that you spirit can, can be killed. Yeah. That Jehovah Witness believed that. He wouldn't deny that he was the Jehovah Witness, but that's what they believe. They're following Gnostic teachings. So, ponder these things, brother, for what I just share. God bless you.